Officials say the boat they're lifting out of the water right now has actually been in the river for six years, three of those years on the bottom of the intercoastal, creating a navigation hazard. Definitely an eyesore, but not only an eyesore, a danger. And this map shows just how many dangerous eyesores are in the Halifax River in Daytona Beach alone. Since July, city officials partnering with FWC have overseen the removal of at least a dozen abandoned vessels, some of them actively leaking fuel. Others, say Police Chief Craig Capri, floating criminal enterprises. Some of these boats had drug activity going on it where people were taking little dinghies coming in there and, and, and doing drugs on the boats. Um, some of these people were trespassing in, in, in residence yards. Boats were listing in the water, sinking in the water, or already sunk. In four of the cases, the contractor hired by the city had to use a crane on a barge to bring them out. The removal and disposal, about $160,000. And though the city's paying up front, the state will reimburse after local leaders successfully applied for grants. The chief promises they won't have to do it again. We're going to aggressively uh, patrol the waterways and make sure this doesn't happen again. We have boats that are being left, left behind. In some cases, the junk vessels were damaged in storms, including hurricanes. In other cases, owners just walked away. Officials say they've identified all of the boat owners and plan to go after them for the cost of removal, disposal. They may even face criminal charges. In Daytona Beach, Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News.